NASA is tracking a nearby asteroid, nearly double the diameter of Roman Colosseum, is approaching our Earth. It's the so-called near-Earth objects. It's classified as such by the U.S. National Aeronautic Space Administration, NASA. This was first discovered by astronomers in 2010 and is set to cross Earth's orbit yesterday. NASA tracking massive 270 meter wide, that's about 900 feet, nearly double the diameter of the Great Roman Colosseum, almost twice the height of Egypt's pyramid, the Giza Pyramid. The asteroid formerly known as 465824 or 2010FR is making its way towards Earth and an incredible speed of 50,530 kilometers per hour, that's 14 kilometers per second. It's over one and a half times faster than what scientists call high hypersonic speed. The object known as an Apollo asteroid because they cross Earth's orbit. And it's not believed to be a threat to life on our Earth, according to astronomers from NASA's Center for Near-Earth Object Studies. However, scientists are monitoring space rocks such as this one, the 210FR, due to the effects of gravitational pull of the planets of our solar system, as well as our Sun, which can alter the trajectory of asteroids and celestial bodies. The asteroid is expected to hit Earth's orbit September 6. And that's besides the one that's coming into us today, which is 70 feet in diameter. This one is much bigger, as we know, and it will be just one of about 10 near-Earth asteroids coming by this month in September. Two such asteroids, 220QG5 and 211ES4, arriving today, Tuesday. And two more, that's a 220PG6 and 210FR arriving September tomorrow, September 2nd and 6th respectively. NASA expects 10 more asteroid flybys in October. So that's quite a few asteroid flybys that we're having. Russia space agency Roscosmos commented that 211ES4's approach yesterday, uh, they promised that the planet would not die from that. That's about uh, 70 feet in diameter as it zipped by our planet at a distance closer to Earth than our moon. And uh, it's about, there are about 80 similar asteroids approaching, there were 80 similar asteroids approaching our Earth in the uh, last month, in August. Astronomers don't manage to spot every single asteroid that it comes towards our Earth ahead of time. Earlier this month, three, a 3 by 6 diameter asteroid zipped past Earth just 2,950 kilometers above the Indian Ocean. So. That's pretty close. This is the on Sputnik news. Now, from what the astronomers have told us, they do come in in groups of twos or more. And uh, these, as we know, are the Apollo asteroids that uh, intersect Earth's orbit. That's why they're so common. And we do have scars on Earth from uh, celestial body impacts, either asteroids or comets. And this one is in... Uh, Canada, this one here is the Manicougan. It looks like a double asteroid. Look at that. It's two uh, symmetrical sized um, impact scars on uh, in the province of Quebec, the Manicougan uh, asteroid impact in uh, Quebec, Canada. And uh, we have sc scars all over the world, not only on Earth, but also on the Moon and on Mars and one of the worst, most well-known impacts were the asteroid impact from 65 million years ago in the Yucatan Peninsula that was believed to be an extinction level event that uh, caused the extinction of about 90 percent of the uh, life on earth as well as the extinction of the dinosaurs. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. 
and we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.